So it's like not completely terrible out, but I definitely don't want to have my nice camera out. So I'm just going to, I guess, do this from my iPhone XS. Um, but God, it's just like an annoying rain. Like usually this time of year, it's beautiful. Oh, the Super Bowl brought here. You're the one I trust. So I will say this is not like the biggest event that goes on in Miami Beach, but this definitely has brought the most people that have probably never been to Miami. So like right behind me is Lincoln Road, or at least a road to Lincoln Road. And it's a really nice outdoor mall. Right now, even with the rain, it's especially busy. I see a lot of Chiefs jerseys, a lot of 49ers jerseys. But what I'm doing right now is walking in a nice quiet neighborhood a block away to get to the Miami Convention Center where there's some stuff going on. And I always be around when I need some love and I think what's great about being a resident at the beach is that even with a lot of this stuff going on or any major event happening, you still know like the quiet spots and the good spots that you're not gonna find on like a trip advisor or anything. You're gonna find like Ocean Drive, which I really don't hang out at the busy times. Like right now, I can't imagine. Spring break's awful. Uh, but you can still enjoy life here. So yeah, so like where I'm walking now is a much quicker and better way to get around unless they have some of the stuff closed off which they might so here that's the miami convention center where the super bowl experience is going on and this street is usually barren what the heck is this thing I guess it's a pool? If you say so. So I thought a funny part of like all this stuff going on is how much the beach and Miami government actually got done because this was under construction and there was fences around this forever. It was almost like when you're about to sell a home and the best condition your home is in is right before the sale. That's exactly what went on in Miami. Just all new stuff, a bunch of projects got finished that were just left undone for months. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, right? Grass isn't even set. Those dogs got jobs. What's your problem? I'm at like the sound park right now. And of course it's quiet because I doubt people know about this at the beach. Uh, but I heard like an interesting comment when I was walking through the crowd of people, actually multiple times that people were like, I don't get Miami. As someone from the Midwest, I would have said the same thing because it's just, you get like, if, if you watch the movies and you see stuff on TV, you get the wrong impression of what Miami could be. And the worst way to experience Miami, especially Miami Beach, is during a huge event like what's going on right now with the Super Bowl. You can come down here, peace and quiet, enjoy the beach, enjoy the outdoor life, and never get in a car, get around. It's just, you know, these big events. And it could be like that in any big city when you go and you just get the wrong impression. Like here, look where I'm at. Where is everybody? It's a beautiful park. Actually, kind of stopped raining too. So I came back really quickly. One, 
Uh, I'm going to go faster and farther to go check out the beach while the weather's okay. And she was getting a little tired. Yep, there's a yawn. I have to admit, it's not as bad down here as I thought it was. I don't know if I'm gonna keep going towards like the uh, the studios, but maybe the rain kept everybody away. I don't know. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. I saw there was like a bunch of like drone restrictions. Am I good south of Fifth? Negative. Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just want to make sure. Don't even try it. Bro. All right. Thanks, man. All right. Well, I'm for sure not gonna even try flying a drone because it's like a thirty thousand dollar ticket. Check it out. ESPN. Nothing going on. And by the way, these are all like temporary structures and right here is usually where the volleyball players play and they were pissed when they took all the volleyball nets down and put up this monstrosity, at least that's what they called it, because there's some competitive volleyball going on in South Beach every day. Right across the street, that's the Versace Mansion. You can eat there. I haven't, but you can. It's right across from the ESPN studio. I for sure found, I guess I should have known Fox got the hot spot. But look at all of this. Look at that. It's going up and down this line. All right, I don't want to freak out, but I found a celebrity. Right there. I think it's a good time to end it right here. Um, actually, not that bad living at the beach during a big event like this. It's just a lot of people, you just gotta manage through it. It doesn't happen often, especially something like the Super Bowl. And it's still not the biggest event that goes on down here. I'm a bit bummed that I didn't get to fly my drone, but I totally get it with all the security going on. But you know what? It's a blast. Hey, yeah, go Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, later.